Hello and welcome to what I hope will be the most stupid video I ever post. Today we are pitting Bubble Sort, Insertion Sort, and Quick Sort against each other in a battle not of speed but of wit. They will each be put through three grueling rounds. In round one, the algorithm will be forced to sort a copy of its own assembly code. In round two, the algorithm will be forced to sort a copy of its own machine byte code. But in round three, in what some are calling idiotic and impossible, each algorithm will be forced to sort itself. Not a copy of its binary code, but the live running binary code. Yes, you heard right. The very code that is directing the CPU will be sorted by itself. At the end of round one, a keystroke should be able to take us to round two. At the end of round two, a keystroke should be able to take us into round three. And at the end of round three, if it survives, a keystroke should be able to take us back to basic. Which algorithm will prove victorious? On a more serious note, please be aware that feeding code to itself as data is extremely dangerous. Please do not try this at home. Everything I'm doing is under strict supervision, and I am a professional YouTuber. First up, it is Bubble Sword, certainly an underdog when it comes to speed, but this is a different kind of competition. First, let's see it sort its own source code. And as a bonus, the source code is so small, we were actually even able to fit my loadem command before it to load up the whole competition. Let's go. And it comes through with flying colors. But again, what did you expect? This is a sorting algorithm, so if it can't sort text, what can it sort? Phase two, can it sort a copy of its own binary code? Notice how small the binary code is compared to the already small source code. Let her rip. And of course it comes through with flying colors, looks very nice. But here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Can bubble sort sort itself? The code that is running live. Let's see. Oh, it made a few changes, but then it got stuck. And it remains stuck. All right, let's check the debugger replay. We start off in the 4800s, which is where we're supposed to be, but oh, we seem to be stuck in some kind of a loop. And look at these addresses. 4809 and A with X23, that doesn't appear anywhere in the code. It looks like we might be between instructions, or instructions got torn apart as it was sorted. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And next up, it is insertion sort. Let's watch it sort its own source code. Pretty fast, looks pretty accurate, nice job. There's a copy of its binary code. Again, nice and compact. How will it do with this? Ooh, fast and accurate. But what about this? Can it sort itself while that code is running to sort itself? Oh, it seems to have gotten stuck. It did a little bit of change, but not a whole lot. But it returns back to basic. It was actually not hung. It was actually not crashed. It just kind of short-circuited itself somehow. And for the debugger replay, let's step through and see what we get. We start where we expect to be, 4C100. And how do we actually escape out of there? Let's start stepping. Oh, something strange has happened. We're starting to sort ourselves. Ah, and then we're out. Let's step back and see how that happens. So we somehow made it to 4008, which was a jump into the pole cap. And jumping back from there. And there was our escape. 4C26 was an RTS. Was that originally an RTS? And it was! We were able to jump down! 4C08 did a branch on high, just like it's supposed to. 
And just before that, we were doing a load X at 4C05. That's not what we were supposed to be doing. Sneaky. Looks like Insertion Sword found a way to escape its own programming and return out of there into Polecat. And one more keystroke, and we are back to basic and blinking that cursor. Nice job, Insertion Sword. And finally, it is Quick Sword. Certainly a favorite when it comes to speed, but will its complexity be its downfall? First, let's sort its source code, but you'll notice the source code is too long to fit on the screen, so we put the recursive portion of it down here because that's the most interesting. Let her rip. Ah, fast and accurate. There's the binary code. Again, fairly compact, but you can tell it's a little bit larger than its competitors. Let her rip. Nicely done, looks pretty accurate. But what will happen when it sorts itself? The very code that is running to sort the very data that it is sorting. Let her rip. Ooh, it did a lot. But then it seems to have gotten stuck. And let's go in for that debugger replay. Three, two, one, sort. We see we're at 4424, 4414, we're in the right area. But are those supposed to be instructions? 4414, 4416? Oh no, we are between instructions. We're in no man's land. None of this makes any sense. Ouch, we are stuck there for good folks. And what is this? Congratulations go to Insertion Sort. While it didn't quite sort itself, it was able to escape and return back to basic.